Millions of Muslims around the world don't have access to Islamic higher education. Many of us don't have the means to travel and learn at a prestigious Islamic university. Many of us can't afford the fees. So what options do we have as regular Muslims to study formal Islamic higher education? One man decided to change that. Assalamu alaikum, I'm Dr. Bilal Phillips. He founded the International Open University, which has educated hundreds of thousands of Muslims around the world. It's completely online, extremely affordable, and provides completely accredited degrees. That is my vision. Today, I meet the man himself to find out how it all began. It's education. If the third world gets educated, like the first world, in terms of access to education, etc., then they will potentially surpass. What happened is that the opportunity to set up a university in India arose after the peace conferences of Dr. Zakir Naik. I felt it would be more beneficial if it was put into an institution. And um, alhamdulillah, we launched it, but with difficulty. Government figuring out what we were about, tried to sabotage it. The door was closed, I had to come back to Qatar. And at that point, I decided to launch the IOU online. As we begun, it was just Islamic studies, which is why we named the university the Islamic Online University. We decided to focus on a simple setup, it's just a matter of preparing the material. The material was put online, students would read the material, etc. There would be some tests given, and you know, it was fairly simple. There's a demand for more modern subjects. So naturally, Dr. Bilal Phillips decides to expand. When the Sharia or Islamic studies curriculum was set, I had decided to add to the various disciplines which graduates from Islamic studies usually were not trained in, but they actually needed it when they came back to the communities. They were tasked with leading community, became or the head of the community, the imam, the sheikh. They were tasked by the community with solving their problems, counseling and administration, advising. So I added these courses to the overall syllabus because these courses were taught by Muslims who had a concern. They were committed to teach their subjects from an Islamic perspective. What were those moments where you just said, Alhamdulillah, thank God I did this. Thank God I used all my resources. Thank God I dedicated, I sacrificed everything to get here. What, what were those moments? Were there any? Yeah, of course. Well, a goal was set. To me, the goal was worth sacrifice for. When my um, savings ran out, others came along and helped out to keep it going. So Allah seemed to open doors whenever they were needed. From the first time we launched it, people were just pouring in. And from there, it has just been moving forward, increasing as time passed. We came up with the idea of the one million scholarships to provide scholarships for African youth since they had the lowest percentage of the graduates from high school being accepted into universities. Finding Indonesia is 36%, and Africa as a continent, less than 6%. We found that the students didn't have computers. You know, the people who were given scholarships in the Gambia, where our headquarters for the university was chosen, they were also asking for electricity. In fact, the internet data was even more expensive than the fees that we were charging for those who were studying online. So we set up learning centers in uh, close to 20 different locations across Africa, focusing on the English-speaking countries. So they finally make it. They finally reach global impact. And here, Dr. Bilal Phillips discovers the significance of what he started. He sees the impact of all the different communities that he never imagined he would. The world doesn't have a choice here. 
The future of education is going to be online. It's proven itself as a necessity. Alhamdulillah, the Muslim world is massive. And if we can take care of this niche, and there are so many other niches that Muslims can contribute to overall educational upliftment of the Ummah. They say the sky is the limit. Educating the Ummah is not something we can do by ourselves. It's something we must do together. Dr. Bilal Phillips is just one example of what someone can do if you have a big enough dream and a big enough vision. The question is, are you ready to dream big and leave a legacy behind?